hello friends welcome to another video in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix dying like the beast game crashing at startup not launching lagging freezing low fps issue or other errors on pc so let's go through it The first method is to check system requirements to play the game. So make sure your PC meet the required specs. So for that go to Steam and in the store option here you need to search for the game. After that go below and here you can find the system requirements to play the game without any problem. So these are the requirements. Make sure you have all these requirements on your PC and after that try to launch the game and see if it is working now. If not. Next is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So for that go to Steam. Now click on Steam option over here. Then click on exit. After this click on start. Then click on power and then select restart. So this will restart your system and Steam as well. So after this now try to launch the game and see if it is working or not. If not next solution is to verify the graphics card or update your graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now open it after that go to expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver then click on search automatically for drivers this will tell you if there is any update available or not if any update is there you have to update your graphics card card and after that try to install the game and see if it is working nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have provided in the description and update your graphics card to the latest version and then try to play the game next is to verify integrity of game file so for that you first go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then click on install files then click on verify integrity of game files Note that I have not downloaded the game, so I am showing you the example of how to do the steps if you come across any kind of issues while playing the game. So after verifying the game, now check if the problem is fixed. If not, next is to modify launch option. So for that again go to Steam, under library section select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now under general here you need to type minus DX11 and then check if the problem is resolved if not you need to type minus dx12 and then check if it helps to resolve the issue if not next is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game settings like vsync or dlss can also create problems on certain setups and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role. So make sure to set up the settings properly and even lower the graphic settings to avoid any kind of unwanted issues while playing the game. Next solution is to run game as administrator. So for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where it has been installed. Now after searching for the game select the application right click on it click on properties after that click on compatibility here select run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and ok and then try to launch the game and see if it is working if not select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 7 or windows 8 and then hit on apply and ok and then check if the problem is fixed or not or you can simply select disable full screen optimization then click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and see if it has resolved the problem if not next is to allow dying light the beast through firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security after that click on firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings after that here you need to find the app if not then click on allow another app click on browse after that go to the game folder where it has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after adding it now uh, select and make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok after that try to play the game and see if it is working now 
If not, next solution is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. So sometimes overclocking makes the CPU and GPU unstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in background. background. Then you should stop it. This will help you to fix the issue and you can play the game further without any problem. Next solution is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users just go to Steam and uh, now here you need to click on Steam option over here then click on settings. After that go to the in-game option and here enable the Steam overlay while in-game option. If it is enabled you simply need to click on it to disable this and after that try to play the game and see if it is working. For GeForce experience open it, tap on gear icon beside username. Now click on general and then switch off in-game overlay options. For discord overlay go to the user settings now game overlay tab and here you need to switch off enable in-game overlay option. After doing all this process now check if you can play the game or not. Next is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that go to the search option search for task manager. Now here under process tab you need to search for the apps that is of no use but running in the background. You just have to search it and after that select it right click on it and click on end task. So this will close the app that is running in the background and after that launch the game to see if it is working now. Next solution is to install visual C++ files. So for that first go to the link given in the description then download and install the visual C++ files and then restart your PC and log into the game and check if you can play without any problem. So you just need to copy this link that I have already given in the description. Just copy it then go to your browser, paste it, uh, go below and from here you can download the visual C++ files after downloading it. Install and after that restart your PC once and then check if the problem is resolved or not. Next is to update windows. So for that go to the win, uh, windows search, search for, search for check for updates option now here you have to click on check for updates and it will check if there is any update available wait for a few moments and then if any update is available simply update your windows to the latest version and then try to launch the game and see if it is working next is to change virtual memory settings so for that uh, go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings under advanced click on settings then click on advanced then click on change here select the game folder or drive where it has been installed then click on custom here type 1228 and then click and in the maximum size you need to type 24576 after entering these details now click on set and then click on ok after this try to launch the game and see if it is working next is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall so if you are having an antivirus program then it can interrupt your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so what you need to do is open windows security then go to virus and threat protection manage settings and toggle off real time protection so for that uh, go to the windows security now click on virus and threat protection then go below here click on manage settings and here you need to turn this real time protection off if it is in enable condition so in my case it's already disabled so you have also to disable it and then check if the problem is resolved apart from this you have to open windows defender firewall tap on turn windows defender firewall on or off so after that here select turn off windows defender firewall and now try to launch the game but later on enable the production so what you need to do is simply open windows defender firewall after that here you need to click on turn windows defender firewall and here you need to select turn off windows defender firewall and public network settings you need to select turn off windows defender firewall after doing this click on ok and then try to launch the game and see if it is working but make sure to disable all these settings later on and then check if the problem is fixed or not. Next is to install DirectX. So for that I have provided the link in the description. Just copy it and paste it in your browser. Now here you need to click on download option. After it downloads now install it. After installing it 
now try to launch the game and see if it helps to fix the issue if not next is to run game on dedicated graphics card for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings after that here you have to add the game to the list so make sure you go to the game folder where it has been installed select the game and after that add it to the list after adding it click on the window uh, arrow icon over here then under gpu preference you need to select high performance after selecting high performance now try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not the final solution is to reinstall dying like the beast game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option after uninstalling the game restart your system once after restarting launch steam and then try to reinstall the game once again and then try to play it now hopefully uh, you can play it without any further problem so all these are some of the suggested solutions that will surely fix the issue that you are coming across while playing dying like the beast game on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you